Hello nature lovers and welcome to another exciting video from Environmental Systems and Societies. Today's video is all about how to write a hypothesis. Well, what's the point of a hypothesis, you might be asking. And I will tell you, a the point of a hypothesis is to answer your science question. Our last video was all about how to write a science question, and a hypothesis is about how to answer it. But before you can do that, you need to understand variables. So the first one is an independent variable. Now, an independent variable is the one you choose to change in the experiment. So if we list our, use our method that we used in the last video where we had two lists, we had one list was all the things that could change in the environment, and we had another list that were all the things that could change with the subject itself. The environment list is the independent variable list, okay? And whichever one you choose, that's your independent variable. And you remember, you only choose one. So what's a dependent variable? Well, it's what you measure in the, in the experiment. It's also the other list, right? So you might be saying, uh, if I, I wonder how changing the temperature affects the height of the plant. The temperature is the environmental list, that's independent variable. The height of the plant is the dependent variable. Okay, so let's compare some of these. Independent variables are things like temperature, amount of sunlight, and amount of water, things you can change. I know you might be going, well, how do you change the temperature in a forest? You don't really change the temperature in a forest, but what you do is you choose to look at it when it is certain temperatures. So if you go in August, the forest's temperature might be 83 degrees, but if you go in December, the forest temperature might be 39 degrees. And so you choose when to look at it to see what's going on. So even though you don't change it, you choose when to look at it. That's independent. But look at these dependent variables, the height of the plant, the size of the leaf. These are things that you measure, okay? These are things about the object itself that you are measuring. Now, what caused that to change? The independent variable, okay? So remember our science question took this form. If I change the environmental factor, something from list two, how will that affect my subject? Something from list one, okay? And so using this bear as an example, we, uh, we say, hey, I wonder there's things, you know, the first thing you have to do is kind of make the list. So there's things about this bear, like how much sunlight, how much does he eat, the temperature, things like that. So you say, hey, if I change the temperature and you tell me how, so if I decrease the temperature, how does that affect something about the bear? His weight, how much fur he has, how fast he moves, right? His velocity. So I'm gonna choose temperature and velocity. Temperature's independent, velocity's dependent variables, right? And so here it is. If the temperature of the air decreased, what would happen to the speed of the bear? Okay, that's it. Now, you, the temperature of the bear, uh, the temperature of the air, I'm sorry, not the bear, that is your independent variable and the speed is the dependent. So what's the answer to that question? Well, the answer is your hypothesis. And that's the point of a hypothesis is the answer. The hypothesis is your answer. Get it? All right, so how do you make a hypothesis? Well, it's really pretty simple. It looks a lot like your science question. So it's like this. If I, and then you have to explain how you will change the object's environment. So if I decrease the temperature of the air, then, and then you have to describe how you think the subject itself will change. So I think the bear might speed up when it's cooler. So if I increase, or I'm sorry, if I decrease the temperature of the air in the forest, then the velocity of the bear will increase. See how I fit that into this uh, formula for making a hypothesis? So here's the, here it is, okay? Here's the question. If the temperature of the air decreased, what would happen to the velocity of the bear? And the answer is, if the temperature in the forest decreases, the velocity of the bear will increase. And that's how you make a hypothesis. Now the next step is to test that hypothesis. But what this does is this allows us to We've made an answer, we've predicted an answer, and our prediction isn't just a random guess, it's an educated guess. But we've made that educated guess, which is our hypothesis. And now we go to step three, which is designing a test for it. I hope that makes sense. If it doesn't, please let me know. Otherwise, I hope you have a great evening. Peace out, homie.